This is the video of a 75-year-old female without osteoarthritis who sustained a recurrent rotator cuff tear. She had an intrasubstance split of the subscapularis tendon here, but otherwise it was intact. The footprint is completely devoid of any rotator cuff attachment. You can see previous suture and anchors from the prior repair, which had completely failed. The medial anchors were loose. A cuff grasper was then used to mobilize the medial tissue, but it was overall quite atrophy uh, retracted. I could only mobilize it to the medial aspect of the footprint, and the tissue quality was quite poor. I then removed the peak anchors, which left large defects in the bone, which really prohibited any other type of repair, such as a superior capsular reconstruction in a case like this. A generalized debridement was then performed to remove soft tissue to clear a space here above the remaining rotator cuff such that the in-space balloon can be placed. Measurements are then taken with the probe from the glenoid, and then a second measurement is taken from the lateral aspect of the tuberosity. Based on these measurements, I then selected a medium-sized balloon, which is seen on the right, and on the left is a syringe of saline used to inflate the balloon once it is placed into the patient. So the protective inserter here is now brought into the subacromial space through a lateral portal. It is placed as medial as possible such that the black line here is visible just at the upper right corner of the screen. Once I was happy with the position, the protective covering is removed and this exposes the balloon. The balloon is made out of a biodegradable material that helps to depress the humeral head in the absence of a functional rotator cuff so that rehabilitation can be performed of the deltoid. Now the syringe is being used to inflate the balloon, which you can see here, filling very nicely the subacromial space. Once the balloon is filled, a small amount of saline is then withdrawn and the inserter is then removed. The shoulder was then taken through a gentle range of motion. The balloon was found to be completely stable in the subacromial space. The patient can then begin rehabilitation immediately.